So I had, thank you. Uh, I had a, <laughs> I had a lesson I was going to share with you, but in interest of time, because I'm sure you guys are hungry, I'm going to switch stories to something that's a bit shorter and equally uh, in, engaging. But it's not an epic fail. It's one of the best lessons I ever learned from my life, and it was from my father. My dad is my hero, and I'll share with you one of the stories that'll lead you to why he's my hero. Uh, when I was a kid, I think I was eight years old, I had the opportunity to go to Alaska on a family vacation with my grandparents. My mom and dad were staying home. They gave my brother and I each $100 for spending on souvenirs. Now, that was a lot of money back then, so we were pretty happy. But my brother and I were always very good with our money when we were kids, so we didn't want to spend and just waste the money on souvenirs. We wanted to actually invest the money at age eight and 10. So we decided not to spend the money on souvenirs, but rather invest it. And our investment was going to be the state-of-the-art video game, the Atari 2600. <laughs> yeah. One button, one stick, that's all you need. Man, it was great. And uh, so we went on this vacation. We didn't spend any of the money. We come back home, and we announced to our mom and dad that we were going to be uh, buying the Atari 2600 tour. My dad said no. And we couldn't figure out why he wouldn't let us buy the video game. After all, it was our money that we earned fair and square by having them give it to us. It seemed perfectly <laughs> logical to me. But his logic was that the video game cartridges were like $30 a piece, and he would have to be the one to buy the video game cartridges, and that would cost him a lot of money, and he couldn't afford that, so we didn't get the video game. We were devastated. We were so bummed. We had all this money. We didn't know what to do with it at that point in time. And uh, uh, two days later, my dad comes home with this new television for him and my mom. It was a state-of-the-art portable TV, three-inch black and white screen, big briefcase with all the tubes to hold into it, right? You know, this thing was cool. And as a kid, I don't even know, you know, by this time, the video game kind of thing, it just, I, I, I don't know, we just didn't understand it. But I'm looking at this little screen with my brother, and I just, you know how kids say things. I mean, think of things, but I go, oh, you know, it'd be really fun is to play Pac-Man on that little tiny screen. And I didn't think anything about the comment at all. And we, we were just so caught up in how cool this TV was, we really didn't care. So we were just going, we're enjoying this TV, because it's much better to watch television on a black and white screen that's three inches, you know? And uh, the next day, I come home from school, and in my house is an Atari 2600. And I'm like, pinching myself, I'm like, oh, this is crazy, I can't believe this. And, and I, I don't know what's going on, but my dad says, son, we have to sit down, I have to have a conversation with you. And I said, Okay. And he goes, I owe you an apology. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm thinking, you don't owe me an apology. You just owe me a plug-in where I can plug this thing in and play my game. I don't even know why he wants to apologize. And I'm kind of confused. I'm only eight years old. And he says, son, he goes, I, need to owe, I owe you an apology. He said, because we told you yesterday that we couldn't afford, we told you two days ago that we couldn't afford the Atari 2600 because I'd have to buy all those video game cartridges. And then I went home, or he goes, and then I went and bought your mom and I a TV that's the price of about 10 of those video game cartridges. And he says, so I just want you to know I'm sorry, and here's the video game. And you know, it's really weird. My dad never really realized the importance that that played on me, but at eight years old, that embedded me into my mind that real men say they're sorry. That's it.